welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy Lynette. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. If you are one of my faithful returning subscribers, thank you so much for joining me for yet another weekly review and being a part of the Tracy Lynette tribe. Guys, I've missed you so much. As you know, I was sick last week with laryngitis. And if you can hear, I still don't have my voice back all the way. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on, but um, I am trying to get better. And I simply could not wait for another week to bring you this latest release from the house of Christian Dior. I had to do it. I had to do it. I'm like, okay, push through. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. I did another uh, review of another new release. Um, again, I just couldn't wait. I got new two new releases this week, compliments of my wonderful fiance. So thank you so much, babe, for getting me these two new fragrances to bring to my Tracy Lynette tribe. Um, I have done some reviews of some really good fragrances, but I wanted to bring you guys some new releases. And so today I am going to be reviewing the new Miss Dior uh, perfume. And now you know uh, Miss Dior, there are a million different flankers, right? We get a new flanker every year. We've got the Auto Toilette, we got the Auto Parfum, we've got the um, different flankers of Miss Dior. Um, it really is a house that constantly reinvents the Miss Dior line because people absolutely love them. Um, I have no exception, I love them too. They are really good. This particular release uh, launched in 2024. As I said, it's a new release, uh, the Miss Dior. I have the 50 mil, uh, the 1.7 fluent ounce bottle here, and I want to review it. I want to go over the notes. I want to give you my thoughts and what I think of this release um, because I do have some strong opinions about it. So if you have never smelled this, I want you to get your nose on it. Also in the comments, let me know what you think about all of the Misty Orts. What's your favorite flanker? What's your favorite release? All right, so let's just jump right into it. So this release was so exciting because it was created by Francis Kirk Dijon, who is also the creator and the nose behind the cult favorite, the wonderful Baccarat Rouge 540 um, that people just absolutely obsess over. I love it too. I have an issue with the dry down, um, but that's another story for a different day. Um, but it's really exciting that he jumped on board with, um, with the, the house of Dior, Christian Dior, to help create this fragrance um so i thought that was a little um i thought that was a really interesting fun fact that i want to bring to you guys um so let's just jump right into it and also want to give a shout out to my girl heba at macy's at arrowhead mall who got this perfume for me put it up for me i said i've got to have it um she let me know that she put it up for me got there she is absolutely amazing she is one of the people that i go to uh when i want to review fragrances she lets me know what's new what's in store and um she always looks out for me so heba if you're watching thank you so much again i really appreciate you and you know i'll be seeing you soon as always so okay let's just jump right into it now that i've taken care of all of that um i like to just give credit where people deserve it. You know what I mean? I just don't do this by myself. I have people behind me that really help and I appreciate them so much. And I especially appreciate my faithful viewers of the Tracy Lynette tribe. So, Miss Dior, Parfum. And as you know, a Parfum is going to be more of the concentrated oils versus like a water alcohol base. Um, so, this fragrance is a little bit on the higher end for a designer fragrance in terms of cost and longevity. Um, this is the 50 mil 1.7 ounce. It was 140 before taxes. Um, and so, which is a little bit more pricey than the normal uh, uh, designer fragrances, but it is a Miss Dior fragrance. So um, anything from the house of Dior, it's going to be a little bit more pricier because of the uh, reputation and also because of the ingredients and uh, the... Um, quality that you get in their fragrances. So I want to jump into the notes and then I'll discuss with you how I feel about it. Okay. So as you know, I get my notes from Fragrantica, my trusted source. <laughs> so the top notes in this perfume are mandarin orange, apricot, peach, middle notes, wild strawberry, floral notes, jasmine, base notes are patchouli, amber wood, amber moss, and atlas woods. 
And the main accords of this, and I'm not going to go over all of them, but just some of the main accords are woody, sweet, earthy, floral, and citrus. So that kind of gives you an idea of what this fragrance smells like. Now, um, as you see, I don't know if you could tell on camera, um, I have not opened this box yet. If you can see the plastic, I've not opened it yet. Reason being because I had a sample. I had a sample of the fragrance, just the little, um, you know, you get the little small testers like this. Um, and then that way you could try it on, you could do a wear test. And I did that first before opening. Now, let me just take you back a little bit. I went into Macy's and one of the reps there, Heba wasn't there uh, that day, gave me a sample of this, but she sprayed it on a card. Um, and so with the card, I had, I had it on this, um, like a tester strip. So, um, I smelled it and I absolutely loved it. So as you know, things smell really different on, uh, your person's based off of your chemistry. And I know that, but I, I don't know. I was just so, um, taken back with the fragrance on the paper, I fell in love. Like it literally had me in chokehold. I'm like, I've got to get this. I told my fiance, like, I can't live without it. I got to have it. It's so beautiful. It's so romantic. I need this fragrance. So he's like, okay, let's go get it. So we go and get it. I wanted to have it on my skin. I wanted to test it. So we bought the bottle again, before I even put it on my skin. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. This is so good. Walked around the mall, get in the car, and something on a dry down, I didn't like. I just didn't like. Um, now, let me say this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. However, on Tracy Lynette, something didn't resonate. I still don't quite know what it was that I didn't like on the dry down. Um, it is an amber floral scent, but it kind of gave me, um, it's a very mature scent. It's playful, but yet mature. But it was something in the dry down with, that was a little bit too mature for my liking, and it just didn't resonate with me. Um, now, in terms of longevity, it lasted a really long time. I have heard others say that it doesn't last long. Um, that wasn't my experience. It was a tr it performed like a true uh, parfum on my skin very long lasting. Uh, I want to say it lasted on my skin with just a small tester um, that I sprayed for a good six to eight hours, I'd say. Um, and I didn't overspray. I just did a couple sprays and it lasted a really long time. Now it smells really good because I sprayed it on the card. And as I talk about it, I keep getting whiffs of it. It is a sweet fragrance. Um, it is a really feminine fragrance, fragrance, I would say. Lane's definitely a uh, feminine. This is an all occasion, all purpose fragrance. You could wear it all year around. I would say that this could, for some people, work as a signature scent. It definitely is one of those type of fragrances. However, it was something on the dry down that just didn't work with my chemistry. It was something that um, I just didn't like. Um, it was something that was a little bit um, headache inducing, um, a little bit nauseating to me, to my nose, and um, I just didn't prefer it for myself. However, I have heard so many good reviews. So many people love this fragrance. So I like to know what you think. If you have had a chance to smell the new 2024 release of Miss Dior Parfum and what you think about it. Um, if this is your favorite release or if there are releases of the Miss Dior in the past that you like better, please let me know in the comments because I'm curious to see if I am just an odd one out because I, it seems to be um, an overwhelming popular fragrance that everyone likes. Everyone seems to really like this new release but I'm sad to say um it just isn't my favorite so I am going to be returning this fragrance um I am glad that I had the tester to test around uh to you know to play around with because $140 is not cheap for something that you don't like um and again I don't hate it but I just don't love it so I just wanted to bring this to you as a new release to get your thoughts on it um I hope that you enjoyed today's review and again please forgive me for this voice of mine I can't seem to get it back but I wanted to give you this new release while I was hot off the presses okay so let me know what you think about 
about uh, this fragrance and all of the other Miss Dior releases and what your favorite is. So um, thank you again for watching. If you have not done so, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button, especially if you're new here, definitely subscribe. We would love to have you a part of the Tracy Lynette tribe. And for all my faithful returning subscribers, thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for returning each week. And thank you for all your support of my channel and of me. I really do love you all. I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. And as I always say, don't forget to what? Smell good, look good, and be good. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.